Hey guys, so what I wanted to do in this short video is talk you through the video analysis tool on Logger Pro. So what I've done is I've already opened up Logger Pro. Um, hopefully you have recorded your video already. That was one of the first steps in this section was to record your video. Uh, make sure that the meter stick is viewable. It's in the same plane as your ball. Uh, that's gonna be really important. You'll see why in just a minute. That's how we're gonna make the video know how long as distances are. So anyway, uh, I wanted to show you how straightforward this was. So to do that, I've got my daughter here to help me out, my fourth grade daughter, and I'm going to talk her through it and she's going to do it. So here we go. Have a seat, Lily. All right. So the first thing we're going to go to insert and then movies. Remember, you have to double click on this computer. There you go. Go down to movie. Yep. And click on that. Now, it should be that one right there, Is the it? basketball. Yep, that's in my desktop, so you should be able to find it on your computer. It does take just a moment, but once it's ready, so there you see you've got the video over there on the left-hand side. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click the button with the arrow and the three dots. You may need to um, click the, here, let's click Logger Pro and drag it up just a little bit. Okay. There we go. So see the arrow with the uh, three dots there? That's your video analyzing so stuff. Yeah, it? Click it. You gotta click on that button. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now that you have that, then you're going to click the button with the meter stick. Do you see that one, the sideways one? Uh, that one? one right there. So click on that one. Just one click, uh, okay? Now, so that's gonna let you set the scale. What you're gonna do is go to the meter stick, see where your sister's holding the meter stick. So go to the very top. So put your cursor on the very top, all the way to the top. No, no, the middle of the cursor at the very top. Okay. I think that's the Now this one, I don't know if you can do because you don't have enough practice with my computer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click and drag just like this, all the way down to the bottom of the meter stick. When you do that, it's telling the program, you can tell it that that's one meter. You see how on the scale it says distance one, units meter. So go click OK now. So now Logger Pro knows that that distance is one meter. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our, uh, we're actually going to move the video. So you're kind of at the end of the video. Okay. So you want to use the double arrows down at the bottom. You're going to rewind it a little bit. So yeah, use the rewind. back ones. Yep. And click on those. Right. Keep going back. Yep. Just click, 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 click. And you'll notice <laughs> you guys at home, hopefully the video is at the very beginning. You want to move it until right when the ball is dropped. So see her hands aren't <laughs> quite on it yet. Do it one more time. One more time, maybe. Uh, maybe one. Okay, so definitely it's not moving yet. Go ahead and go forward just a little bit. We want right when you release it. Okay. Uh, there, I see it. See how it's starting to move down there? Okay, that's the point that we want. So like I said, even my fourth grader knew when to do that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set that as our zero point. All right. So go to the button that has the, the kind of the green lines on it there. Yep, that allows us to set our origin. Okay. Origin? The origin is the beginning. That's your zero, zero. So we're going to cool. mark the place where the ball is right now. And you can choose any part on the ball, but you're going to need to be consistent. I find it's easiest to choose the middle of the ball. Yeah, that's so what just, I was going okay, for. Okay, so middle of the ball. You can mark the bottom of the ball. You can yeah. mark the top of the ball. You can do whatever you want, but you're going to need to do the same thing every time. So you're there. So go ahead and click the left click just one time. And you'll notice that it put my axes right at the middle there. What are axes? Okay. The axes are the vertical uh, and horizontal lines there, the no. yellow lines. So that's my zero, zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start setting some points. Now the computer is going to know how far apart those points are. You're going to go to see the red dot there this above one? the one. Yep. Just one click. Okay. So now go to the center of your ball, the center of your axes, and you're going to put one dot right there. I need to make sure it's right yep. in there. Yep. Close. That's probably good. All right, so you'll notice that it put a blue dot. What you may not have noticed is that it also made the video move forward just a little bit. The ball's dropping just a little bit. So your X is not in the middle of the ball anymore. It's a little bit more to the top. Uh, so just go down a little bit because every single time you put a dot, it's automatically going to go to the like next this? video frame. Yeah, sure, like right there. And click. See how it moved down a little bit? Oh, so yeah. go ahead and make another dot. 
another one? Yep, just keep doing it. We're oh, gonna keep go doing down? that. Go yep, down? just go down a little. Make sure you're in the middle of the ball. It may be hard to see, but do the best that you can. Yep, doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna have a lot of points here. <laughs> and every time you see him, now the ball is a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. It may be, yeah, we can do that. Maybe mm -hmm. let's take off the axis. The yellow line's making it hard to see. Yeah. So go over to that green zero zero there. And that will take off our axis. We don't need it. Now you can see the ball a little bit more clearly. Go to the middle of the ball. There you go. Click. And every time you click, the ball is going to move just a little bit. So you go click that again. And every time we do it, go ahead. And you just keep doing that. Okay. okay. Find the middle. Find the middle. Find the middle. Yep. And if you need to move the axes away to look at it, there you go. Find the middle. And you can tell that she's not doing it perfectly. That's fine. She's a fourth grader. Okay, find the middle of the ball. All right, next one. There we go, next one. And just keep going. Make sure you get the middle of the ball every time. I'm Try trying. not to get the top. Yeah. I know, it's a little bit hard with the trackpad. All right, so we're going to fast forward through this as she puts all the dots on there. All right, so you see now that she's got a nice little set of points that's dropping. You may be able to notice that the dots do get further and further apart. Why do you think those dots are getting further and further well, apart? Well, because, Liz? like, it's going that way. Like, it's going... Well, it's just going down, oh, right? Oh, yeah. So why are those dots getting further and further apart? Uh, because it's getting closer to the ground. <laughs> mm. Well, you guys at home should know that the dots at home are at... Are, the dots are getting further and further apart because the ball is getting faster. As it oh, drops, yeah, that's right? What I was so between yeah. each frame, it goes a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is what we hope to see. Now, I'm going to go ahead and Lily click mm -hmm. on the graph now in the back. The video is going to go away, but don't worry. Anywhere. The video is back behind. Just click there. Just click there? Yep. anywhere there. Yep. Okay. There you go. So now the graph is in the front. Now you'll notice that what it's doing is it has a bunch of red dots and, blue and dots. the red dots and blue dots. <laughs> and the red dots are showing its position horizontally sideways. Now, since we dropped it almost straight down, it's pretty much a flat line there at zero, right? Mm -hmm. And it's showing that the X position is zero. It might be a little bit off just because Lily maybe <laughs> pushed it a little bit, or maybe it was windy or, you know, anything could happen. So we're not too worried about that. So we're going to go ahead and take the X dots off. Yeah. So mm -hmm. can you go click on the side where the X M um, is? Yep. So click on that and go to more. More. And when you go to more, you can take off the X check. So just yes. click there. Yep. And then click OK. And so then all we'll see is the Y. And that's what we're actually really interested in, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're going to move the video over so that we can see a little bit better. Okay. All right. So now you can see the dots. And guys in class, you guys know that we should have kind of this curve, right? The curve is showing that the ball is speeding up as it falls. Um, it should not be a straight line. It shouldn't be a constant velocity because we have the acceleration of gravity. Now, at this point, what I'd like for us to do, we're looking at Y position right now, okay, which is just okay. where the dots are. But this program can do something really cool. What it can do is it can take those position dots and it can calculate your speed and your velocity at any That's point in time. Cool. It is pretty cool, isn't it? So we're going to yeah. go, go click on the Y now, the YM, yep, and go to more again. More. Yeah. And okay. you're going to unclick the Y and click the Y velocity. Velocity and speed are the same thing, except the velocity is going to be negative because it's going down. Go it's ahead and click OK. Yep. Yeah. And you'll Ooh, notice that we have a pretty diamond. nice straight line there. Oh, yeah. It changes it to diamonds <laughs> <laughs> instead of dots. That's not straight. It's pretty straight. No, it's it not. is pretty straight. It's like bump, bump, bump. I know. Bump, but look at this. Go, go up to this button right here the one that kind of has a straight line there nope not that one that's curvy yeah mm -hmm. the straight one click on that and it makes a straight line that's pretty good i mean mm. the points aren't perfect because my fourth grader is not a perfect point setter <laughs> and it was not a real i mean it, it was difficult to put those dots on right mm -hmm. it was hard to see exactly where but the that's center more straight is. So than that. but this is a pretty <laughs> yeah. straight line okay now You'll notice a couple of things here. Mm -hmm. Number one, we did notice that the points are kind of almost in a straight line. All right. Kind now, of. you guys should recognize why. Why do we expect the velocity in the y direction to have almost a straight line? Do you remember what the slope of the velocity time graph is? 
Well, you don't remember because <laughs> you aren't in my physics class. But my physics students know that the velocity time graph, the slope, is acceleration. And the only force acting on the ball as it falls, do you know this one? What's the only force acting on the ball as it A falls? Gravity. Gravity. And the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. And if you look at your graph, look at this right here. See the slope yeah. of my straight line? What and is that number? The slope. 9.858. Now, because the real acceleration of gravity is 9.8, that is pretty darn close. We got exactly what we expected. All right. So that's one of the things I wanted to see from this is that we can actually see that acceleration. Now, the other thing that I want you to see is the last step is I would like for you, Lily, can you go mm -hmm. click on the very last point for me? The, the very last this diamond one? down there. Yeah, that one down there. Oh, it's not going to let you. Uh, yeah, try try clicking on just that last diamond. Yeah, like right there. See if it'll let you just do that last one. Uh, no, it's making us select the whole thing. Let me see. Oh, there. I think. I don't know. Uh, all right. All right, so Lily, what I'm gonna ask you to do now mm -hmm. is, can you go over to the side? You see where the one, two, three, yeah. four, click on that table up at the top. Yes. Yep, yeah, and it'll bring the table up. Yeah, mm -hmm. just up at the top, okay? Whoa. So what we want is we want the Y velocity. That's how fast it's traveling downwards the at the velocity. very end. Yeah, that's the Y velocity. So okay. let's, can you scroll over just a little bit so we can see Y velocity? Because we're trying to find to one of the things we tried to do in this lab is we're trying to do, do right down here. <laughs> just like click over on that. Yeah, there you go. See, even a fourth grader can figure <laughs> it out. All right, now we want to go down to the very end because we want to see what the last speed is right before it hits the ground. So if you can go down all the way. All right, so our Y velocity right at the end is 9.871. So hopefully that is close to the number that we calculated. Now, I didn't calculate it because I'm not doing this lab, but you have already calculated that speed using kinematics and using energy. So hopefully the number there at the end is pretty darn close to the number that you calculated earlier. All right. So that's all for this video. Just kind of introducing you to this idea that you can import a video and make the points and, and learn a little bit from that. We learned about the position. We saw and velocity, that a acceleration, can do it. and that a fourth grader can do it. <laughs> All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Now you can go and try it on your own. Can I eat All right. pretzels now? <laughs> yes, you can go eat your pretzels.